Fans of open government are quickly learning about the new high-tech Utah Senate. This year, there is more online access to meetings, hearings, and news conferences than ever before. Richard Pyatt shows us how you can be there without being there. Technology is opening up what goes on at the Capitol. On TV, phones, and on the Internet, Utah Senate is trying things not many government entities have done before. Whether you like your lawmakers or you dislike your lawmakers, at least you see a lot more of what's going on. Michael Kastner set up a similar network of gadgets at KSL Radio's Nightside Project. Now, online on the Senate site, there are both written, audio, and video blogs. There is streaming video on Senate Tube, as well as a link to past Senate floor debates recorded on a number of cameras inside the chamber. You can sign up for text message updates on your cell phone. There is even a Senate site linked to a camera in the Senate president's office. President John Valentine says, oddly, there are only certain people who have objected to it. You know, the most interesting thing is the people who ask me to turn off the camera most are the members of the media. Why is that? <laughs> I know exactly why that they asked that. They asked that because they don't want their competitor to realize they're talking to the president. It was one of those internet cameras in the chamber that captured Senator Chris Butters uttering a statement he later regretted this year. But most people do appreciate the new openness that can increase the audience of any given Senate event exponentially. I really don't mind having a camera in my office. Uh, this is the people's work and uh, sort of we wanted to open it up. It's a peek behind the scenes, an experiment that seems to be working and getting more popular all the time. Richard Pyatt, Eyewitness News. Internet video and audio are available, available on the Utah Legislator's regular website. You can access that technology on the Senate's blog site. That is senatesite.com.